you're ready. So, in this video, I'm going to uh, do a makeup tutorial menggunakan makeup product that I really, really, really love in the year of 2018. These are the makeup products that I've been using the most throughout the year. Product-product ni memang semua um, I love very, 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 very much. Huh! Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, put it in. So, ni makeup product, in my opinion, macam dalam affordable range. Ada yang available dekat drugstore, Watson Garden, ada yang kena beli dekat Instagram, ada yang local product. Tapi, semuanya within affordable range. Sebenarnya, tak payah kata best makeup product of 2018 pun. Tak apa. Sebab, ni makeup-makeup yang macam timeless, okay. Yang I will still continue using, even after this. Ni makeup-makeup yang I discover in 2018, that I've been using so much in the year of 2018. It's so weird. <laughs> Pelik gila nak cakap year 2018. Sebab sekarang ni masih lagi 2018. Okay? The day that I'm recording this. But, you know. So anyway, uh, let's just begin. First thing that I'm going to use, macam biasa, uh, my brows. I love this one from Silky Girl Expert Brow Slim Liner in the shade 2. Dark brown. This one is very, very good. Another eyebrow product that I love so much. Okay, uh, this one ni selalu I use last kali bila dah siap semua makeup untuk kemaskan lagi kening tu. Tapi I will use it sekarang for the sake of this video. Uh, Essence Make Me Brow Gel Mascara. So I use this untuk memperkemaskan lagi eyebrow and fill them in even more. So this one ni is a fiberized uh, eyebrow mascara untuk brow. So you can give like a full effect. At the same time, dia boleh set your eyebrow. Bagi dia padu dan diam. Jangan pergi mana-mana. Duduk dan diam. Jangan hingat-hingat. Macam itu. Okay. So moving on to the eyes. Favorite. Favorite eyeshadow primer. The best. Top, 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 top. Favorite eyeshadow primer ever. And the only eyeshadow primer that I use. Wet and wild. Photo focus eyeshadow primer. Kalau you guys ada very oily eyelid. And susah nak keep your eyeshadow in place. Dia macam hilang. Selalu cayang. <laughs> Try guna eyeshadow primer and try guna this one. It's very good. Tak guna, tak, tak guna eyeshadow primer lain dah. I've abandoned my uh, MAC Soft Focal Paint Pot after I've used this one. Untuk the best drugstore eyeshadow palette of 2018, I actually, I don't have one. Okay. From the drugstore. Daripada Watson Garden tu, I haven't been able to find any, ataupun I haven't tried lah any good um, eyeshadow palette to recommend to you guys. I mean a full complete eyeshadow palette, you know, yang macam boleh buat cerita kali apa semua. Uh, liquid eyeshadow, ada. Hat tu ada yang nak recommend. This one! This is Catrice Cosmetics Liquid Metal Long Lasting Eyeshadow Cream. This one ni memang long lasting gila, okay? Very pigmented, very easy to use. Uh, this is the shade Smart Morph. It comes in several colors. Also, I have four shades if I'm not mistaken. I definitely want to pick up other shades, but this one is very good, okay? So, kalau you're looking for cream eyeshadow, liquid eyeshadow, Try this one from Catrice. Available dekat Guardian only. Okay. So as I mentioned, um, tahun 2018 memang tak ada guna, rasanya tak ada guna eyeshadow yang best from Guardian at Watson. Therefore, I want to recommend this eyeshadow palette yang to me very awesome, very affordable, very good. This is by Makeup Revolution. I got this from an IG shop. I will link it down below. I will link everything down below kat mana nak beli, mana yang available dekat drugstore. I will put available dekat Guardian at Watson. Mana yang beli kat IG, I will put beli kat IG. Yeah. <laughs> this one is, uh, as I mentioned, Makeup Revolution Palette. Reloaded Neutral Free. You have much of your warm colors over here. Berry colors. Uh, gold. Tapi this gold do. This one. Woo, my god. It's very good. This one pun. Hmm, nampak tu. Oh my god. Oh. That combination. Gold dengan berry tu. Hmm. The only thing yang lack from this eyeshadow palette is highlighting color. Tak ada color yang cerah untuk highlight. Tapi kalau you guys is someone yang memang guna highlighter on your cheekbones, that is not going to be a problem at all. Guna je lah highlighter tu untuk highlight. Your inner corner and everything. I'm gonna use this dengan this one as my transition color. I'm going to take this color. Oh! Lepak! 
Lagi satu um, makeup palette yang I want to recommend yang I feel macam best gila and I use and I love throughout 2018 is by Makeup Revolution juga Soft Edge Palette. This one ni lagi gila show. Ada tramin, ada macam-macam color dia ada. This one pun I recommend juga for you to check out. Uh, and I feel like this one is more practical. Macam-macam look that you can create. Tapi I want to use this one for this video sebab this one pun is good juga and I don't think I have to use this on camera. So yeah. <laughs> Kalau you love very very gold gold color ha apa lagi ni lah by the way harga palette ni kalau beli kat IG ke Shopee ke I think dalam 30 40 ringgit this affordable and untuk eyeshadow quality dia memang mm, elok sangat lah tu 30 40 ringgit especially this this one eyeshadow ni in particular out buy this single eyeshadow ni saja dengan harga 30 ringgit okay very bottom repeat untuk okay. mogi and of course black very important Use this. Uh, as I mentioned, I feel like kalau highlighting color tu tak ada dalam eyeshadow palette, macam boleh dimaafkan lagi. Tapi kalau tak ada black, okay. Hat tu, hat tu macam turn off sikit. I feel like macam tak kempit lah kalau tak ada black. Ataupun a very dark color untuk darken your look. You know what I'm saying? Dia macam boleh merubah a look. Tengok tu. Tengok tu. Besar kan? I'm going to do a cut crease macam biasa using concealer and then we're going to put on that golden gold okay okay, okay. so let's do the golden gold very rich and golden gold ni let's put on top of this cut crease shall we come on yo So good. See, golden gold. Oh my god, dia buat rasa macam rasa macam kaya bila pakai eyeshadow ni. Okay. Color tu, huh, prosperity. Katu, I'm taking a little bit of this one and also this one. Uh, untuk match this two color together ni dengan black tu. So nampak macam effect ombre ombre macam gitu. Okay, the best affordable mascara of the year. Jatuh kepada... Ta-da! L'Oreal Voluminous Flash Paradise. Waterproof. Very voluminous. It holds the curls very well. Kalau you curl your lashes sebelum pakai mascara, lepas mau pakai mascara ni, mascara ni memang dapat mempertahankan the curliness of your lashes. And lashes nampak full. Lepas tu pula, it can coat even my lower lashes. I'm very picky when it comes to lower lashes punya mascara selalunya I use different mascara untuk lower lashes sebab mascara yang guna untuk upper lashes sometimes rasa macam tak seronok pakai untuk lower lashes tapi this one you can coat uh, my lower lashes very well as well and nampakkan efek yang panjang dan lebat so I love it for that okay I've put on uh, lashes so my favorite affordable primer kalau you guys nak cari primer yang untuk oily skin you can try this one from NYX this angel veil is very comparable to uh, our glass punya mineral veil tu I have that one too I have that one macam uh, slightly better and dapat tahan minyak sikit daripada this one tapi this one pun macam apa kurangnya tapi sebenarnya when it comes to primer I love to use macam smoothing primer pore filling primer more than mattifying primer mattifying primer tu pakai juga kadang-kadang tapi like I mentioned I prefer smoothing primer lagi tapi kalau you guys nak cari uh, primer untuk oily skin you can try this one kalau we want to try primer, profiling primer yang best and affordable. This one from Innisfree No Sebum Blur Primer. Out of all uh, blurring primer yang available dekat drug store, um, I think this one is the best in my opinion. Ah, uh, Tapi dia tak available dekat drug store lah. This one you have to buy dekat kedai Innisfree ataupun dekat rumah pun ada. See? Nampak tak? Boleh nampak tak? Nampak tak? Nampak tak? Nampak tak? Nampak tak? Nampak tak? I love to put it uh, dekat center of my face dekat sini. Yang banyak pores ni dekat hidung and dekat dahi. Done. The best foundation that I discovered in 2018 that is still currently my top number one favorite foundation ever. Maybelline Super Stay Foundation. Oh, this one is so good for oily skin. I'm telling you. I have full dedicated review on this foundation. Kalau you guys nak check it out. Kalau you guys nak tahu my full thought on this foundation, just check out that video. Okay? Malin dah repeat. 
I use the shade 1 to 8. This one, tak available dekat Maybelline Misha lagi. So, kena ambil dekat Instagram. As I mentioned, please check down below, okay? Description. And this foundation also, macam Maybelline Fit Me too, it also oxidizes on me. So, it turns darker after a while. Which is why, macam Maybelline Fit Me juga, I choose shade 128. Which looks slightly lighter now. Tapi nanti dia akan oxidize and dia akan gelap. And bila dia gelap, dia akan match. Okay. Okay. So, kalau I choose shade yang sama dengan my face. Lepas tu, lagi dia akan oxidize and jadi gelap. And dia akan jadi lagi gelap. Okay. So, logik lah kan. Pilih shade light sikit. So, bila dia gelap nanti, dia akan match sendiri. Okay? Faham no? When it comes to the best affordable concealer, I have two that I use so much. This two ni memang very good and I feel like dia worth it dengan harga dia. Agak susah for me to choose a one over the other. So, I'm talking about these two concealer. Satu True Looks uh, Instant Moisture Concealer in the shade Vanilla. And this one is from Clio. Heal Cover Liquid Concealer in the shade 4 Ginger. This one, more moisturizing than this one. Tapi in terms of coverage, Dua-dua ni very high coverage, very creamy, very easy to blend. The advantage this one over this one is this one has more shades than this one. Lagi pun this one local brand. So, you know, support local brand yo. Tapi dia memang sangat, oh, I really love this one. I'm really blown away dengan dia punya quality dia tu. This one, Clio ni available dekat Watson. This one, True Look ni, as I mentioned, local brand. Boleh beli kat Instagram. So, between these two, uh, I think I'm going to use this one untuk look today. Tapi, these two are very good. Love them so much. Ah, nampak? I love to use concealer and bersihkan my eyeshadow sini. Sometimes, malas nak ambil makeup remover and bersihkan tepi. So, I just use concealer. Oh, malas ni makeup. Lepas tu, loose powder. Ha! Ha! Paling best sekali. This one. Uh, Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder I use the shade 20 light medium Selalunya, most of the time bila I try new powders I feel macam apa beza je, you know It's just powder, the set, the mattify Itu je lah kan, tapi this one This one, very different, you can definitely Definitely tell the difference Bila pakai this powder To set your face, finishing dia tu Oh my god, silky smooth Dia macam Icing on top kind of powder You know what I'm saying Kalau macam you punya foundation tu Nampak macam eh, Tu bah set dengan this This powder This saya You punya base akan nampak cantik And I feel like This powder ni Dia macam uh, It blurs juga The appearance of my pores Memang nampak smooth Which is why I love it so much Semuanya Kalau pakai full coverage foundation I would recommend Guna ni terlalu banyak sangat Sebab takut nanti uh, Muka cepat kiki This guna Slightly Untuk set your face Secukup rasa Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finish Powder So good So kita teruskan dengan mata Bila kata eyeliner I will always recommend this liners Okay Tak ada eyeliner lain dah These two are the only eyeliners that I use Tambah pula dia pun memang affordable So untuk black eyeliner This one Lakme Iconic Gel Black Eyeliner Very creamy Long lasting Untuk nude eyeliner I always use this one Essence Long, long lasting eye pencil Say highlight Ni long lasting Tapi bukanlah nak kata long lasting Sampai ke malam Tak hilang-hilang Nak compare dengan high end Color nude high end yang lain This one On my waterline ni Paling tahan sekali Okay So for eyeliners Dua ni Okay Always So I'm gonna use this one uh, Lakme Iconic Gel In the shade black So, lash line, kita guna balik colour ni. Okay. And I'm going to smoke it up using this. Alright, that's the plan. Go, go, go. Untuk contour pula, I use this the most. Simplicity punya shading blusher. I use contour shade ni. Tapi, to be honest, dia tak adalah macam sangat creamy ke apa. I love this one mostly sebab colour dia tu. And it's easy to use, easy to blend. Colour dia macam very neutral, natural. Neutral, natural. It's not too muddy, it's not too orangey. Tapi, in this video, uh, I want to try this one. Sebab I just pick it up and I've been itching to try this. So, macam sorry, tipu sikit kat sini. Sebab nak guna benda baru. Tapi, I've swatched this and it feels so creamy. And I know that this is a very popular. So, let's try. And kalau best, boleh terus recommend immediately. 
Boleh ni tu. I'm gonna use uh, this contour color. Huh. Wow. Very powdery. It's pretty nice color. It runs a little bit warm. A little bit, but a little bit warm. Yeah, this one um, memang memang looks warmer sikit on me. So kalau you nak try affordable uh, contour shade yang memang neutral, you can try this one for simplicity. It's not macam too creamy to pigmented ke. So dia macam you takkan go overboard with this color. Nice color untuk contour. Uh, cuma you have to build it up sebab texture dia macam agak kering sikit. 2018 is the year of Vitras blush. Okay. Memang aku keras because it's good. Okay. And it's affordable and it's local brand. So I have all the four shades. <laughs> so proud. I love all of the colors. Untuk daily simple makeup, I love to use feline. Tapi untuk go with this look, uh, I will use this flamingo beauty Bond bonto blush. I don't even remember blush apa beli tahun ni. Melainkan beauty raw punya blush. Impact dah sebab macam tu okay. Because it's good, it's affordable, I love the concept behind it. I love the inspiration, I love the packaging, everything. And it's local. Again, support local brand yo. And my favorite, favorite, favorite highlighters for this year. These two combo. Super short cheek in the shade Wisp. This one. And I top it up using LMK Highlighter in High Maintenance. This one alone pun memang perf. And this one alone pun memang dah perf. Tapi together. Together. Perf. Lepas tu, hak ni. Hak ni, hak ni. I'm going to use LMK Highlighter ni untuk highlight my nose. And also my inner corner. Okay, untuk lips, susah nak recommend satu je sebab memang banyak and semua best-best. Antaranya, open cosmetics, dream and kiss, high effects cosmetics, uh, obsessed cosmetics and also sofana cosmetics. Semua ni liquid lipstick yang memang best gila. So, bolehlah try mana-mana. So, liquid lipstick from this brand ni memang I use all the time. All year long. Tapi untuk this particular look, I think I'm going to use forever lah from obsessed cosmetics. Okay, so untuk the best affordable setting spray that you can get from the drug store, I recommend this one. Rimmel Insta Fix and Go 2-in-1 Primer and Setting Spray. This one feels very refreshing, sets your makeup very nicely. Oh, love it. Woo! So yeah, that's it. Um, <laughs> tak ada niat langsung nak pakai turun lelok. Thank you guys for watching my last makeup tutorial for 2018. Take care everybody, jaga kesihatan. Thank you for watching. See you in my next one in 2019 <laughs> Bye!